When a man's servant shall play the cur with him, look you, it goes hard. One night he brought up from a puppy. One night he saved from drowning. I was sent to deliver him as a present to Mistress Sylvia, and came no sooner to the dining chamber, but he steps me to a trencher and steals her capon's leg. Oh, tis a foul thing when a cur cannot keep himself in all companies. You shall judge. He thrust himself into the company of three or four gentlemen-like dogs under the Duke's table. Now you've not been there a piss in while, but all the chambers smelt him. Out with a dog, says one. What cur is that, says another. Whip him out, says a third. Hang him up, says the Duke. Now I, having been acquainted with the smell before, knew up a crab and goes me to the fellow. Friend, you mean to whip the dog, quoth I. Marry, sir, I do, quoth he. Well, you're doing them all wrong, quoth I. "'Twas I that uh, did the thing you won of." Well, he makes no more ado, but whips me up the chamber. Now, how many masters would do that for their servants? <sighs> Nay, I'll be sworn, I have sat in the stocks for puns he hath taken, otherwise he'd be executed. I've stood in the pittery for geese he hath killed, otherwise he'd suffer for it. Thou thinks not of this now, do he? Did I not bid thee, still, mark me and do as I do? When didst thou see me heave up my leg and make water against a gentlewoman's farthingale? Didst thou ever see me do such a trick? Oh, 